superstar first graders welcome to your new grade one learning journey and new video we'll discover fantastic stories participate in exciting activities and learn interesting information together on this beautiful adventure so put on your explorer hats because every day is a treasure of knowledge waiting to be found the lessons that will be covered during this week on Sunday we will learn about the short O sound so we will learn to spell words containing short O in them on Monday we'll be learning about consonants F B and G and we will focus more on short O words on Tuesday we will learn about a new informational text titled look both ways on wednesday we will learn about simple sentences and on thursday we will learn how to end our sentences with full stop so the new spelling words for this week as i mentioned earlier we will learn about the short O words. So again, let's remember what's the sound of short O. It's O. O. The new spelling words for this week are not, got, cot, pot, mop, and pop. We will learn how to spell the words and we will learn how to use them into sentences. Mira and Raya were not there. He was stirring a pot of soup. The baby is sleeping in his cot. She popped all of the balloons. Let's mop the floor. In phonics, we'll be learning about consonants F, B, and G. And we will learn about short O words. So again, the sound of O is O. Let's have a look at these images. We see words that have O in them. And they end with OP, as in top, pop, mop, and hop. We will have more words that contain short O in them, like cot, pot, and hot. Let's move to consonant B. The sound of B is B, as in bag, bank, barn, bed, and bug. Consonant F. The sound of F is F, as in four, food, faces, five, and feet. And the sound of consonant G is G, as in go, gate, girl, and gum. This week we'll be reading a new informational story or text titled Look Both Ways. Informational text tells facts about real people, things, or events. Informational texts often use text features such as headings to help readers find information. Now, while reading the story, let's think of the following questions. What do you call the part of the street where lines show that this is the place to cross? Who helps you Cross the street while coming to school. What are two directions you remember when you walk across the street? When we say
say, look both ways when crossing the street, we mean that one should look to the left and then to the right. This is a safety precaution or advice to ensure that you are safe when you cross the street. A simple sentence expresses one complete thought or tells a complete idea. A simple sentence must begin with a capital letter and must end with a full stop. It should consist of two parts, who or what the sentence is about and the telling part of a sentence. If I say, Raya likes to read, this is a simple sentence because it has two parts. Who is the sentence about? It's Raya and what's the telling part? Likes to read. It also expresses a complete idea or a complete thought. But if I say, likes to read, did we understand who likes to read? Maybe my dad, maybe my brother. So it does not express a complete thought or a complete idea. And we are missing who is the sentence about. A full stop comes at the end of a declarative sentence and sometimes people call it a period. What does it do? When you see a full stop at the end of words, it's like a stop sign for your voice. It tells you that the sentence is finished so you can take a little breath before starting the next one.